Okay, YouTube, uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on my uh, Crossman 1077. It's a CO2 cartridge pellet rifle. Uh, what I did is I converted it to uh, to run off HPA instead of the CO2. Uh, what you have to do, of course, is uh, you have to have the remote line and your CO2 or your uh, high pressure air tank, and uh, you have to remove the stock from the barrel. You've got three screws. You've got one there, one there, and then one back behind the trigger guard. You take that apart, then you have to also buy a uh, what I what they call a dummy CO2 cartridge, and it's got a couple of different holes that you can actually uh, put a plug into, and uh, you have to uh, plug the end of it because you're going to use the hole that's in the center of it. What you do is you put that in the so inside the cylinder here, where uh, the uh, CO2 normally goes, but you have to find a spot where the uh, little container, I guess it is, that holds the CO2. You have to kind of match that up. You have to line it up to where the hole is, and you have to drill a hole into the actual metal part where that CO2 uh, sits to make sure that it matches up with the uh, the connection here. And you're also going to have to drill a hole in the bottom of your stock, like I did there. Uh, it has to be a pretty good size hole in order to be able to access this to pull it off when you're disconnected because it can be tricky so you do have to get a pretty big hole on there. Anyway, um, I've shot it with uh, high pressure air and it works great. Uh, you don't lose any velocity so it's actually a pretty good uh, conversion to make and uh, it only cost me about five dollars to fill this uh, tank up. It's a 48 cubic inch tank and it's uh, 3,000 PSI and it's regulated at a thousand PSI so this is definitely worth uh, considering if you want to get more shots, more consistent shots out of your 1077. So if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back with you.